Zurich or Zurich, Z -E -W -R -I -C, see below for other names, is the largest city in Switzerland and the capital of the canton of Zurich. It is located in north central Switzerland at the northwestern tip of Lake Zurich. The municipality has approximately 409,000 inhabitants, the urban agglomeration 1.315 million and the Zurich metropolitan area 1.83 million. Zurich is a hub for railways, roads, and air traffic. Both Zurich Airport and Railway Station are the largest and busiest in the country. Permanently settled for over 2,000 years, Zurich was founded by the Romans, who, in 15 BC, called it Turicum. However, early settlements have been found dating back more than 6,400 years ago. During the Middle Ages, Zurich gained the independent and privileged status of imperial immediacy and, in 1519, became a primary center of the Protestant Reformation in Europe under the leadership of Huldrich Swingley. The official language of Zurich is German, but the main spoken language is the local variant of the Alemannic Swiss German dialect, Zurich German. Many museums and art galleries can be found in the city, including the Swiss National Museum and the Kunsthaus. Schauspielhaus Zurich is one of the most important theatres in the German speaking world. Zurich is a leading global city and among the world's largest financial centres despite having a relatively small population. The city is home to a large number of financial institutions and banking companies. Most of Switzerland's research and development centers are concentrated in Zurich and the low tax rates attract overseas companies to set up their headquarters there. Monocle's 2012, Quality of Life Survey, ranked Zurich first on a list of the top 25 cities in the world to make a base within." According to several surveys from 2006 to 2008, Zurich was named the city with the best quality of life in the world as well as the wealthiest city in Europe in terms of GDP per capita. Name In German, the city name is written Zurich, and pronounced Tsyark in Swiss Standard German. In Zurich German, the local dialect of Swiss German, the name is pronounced without the final consonant, as Zurich Tsyri, although the adjective remains Zurcher in Syra N. The city is called Zurich Zayek in French, Zurigo Dzurio in Italian, and Tertigi to writ in Romanche. In English, the name used to be written as Zurich, without the umlaut. Even so, standard English practice for German calques is to either preserve the umlaut or replace it with the base letter followed by e, i.e. Zurich. It is pronounced Zewarik, and more recently sometimes also with ts, as in German. The earliest known form of the city's name is Turicum, attested on a tombstone of the late 2nd century AD in the form star Toturicen, cis. Turicum tax post. The name is interpreted as a derivation from a given name, possibly Gaulish personal name Turos, for a reconstructed native form of the toponym of asterisk Turicon. The Latin stress on the long vowel of the Gaulish name, T -re -k -o -tilde, was lost in German but is preserved in Italian and in Romanche to writ. The first development towards its later, Germanic form is attested as early as the 6th century with the form Zirichi. From the 9th century onward, the name is established in an old High German form Zurich c. h. 857 in Villa Zuri, 924 in Zurich Kirtum, 1416 Zurich Stadt. 
In the early modern period, the name became associated with the name of the Tigurini, and the name Tigurim rather than the historical Turicum is sometimes encountered in modern Latin contexts. History Early history Settlements of the Neolithic and Bronze Age were found around Lake Zurich. Traces of pre-Roman Celtic, Latin settlements were discovered near the Lindenhof, a morainic hill dominating the Se. Nw waterway constituted by Lake Zurich and the River Limit. In Roman times, during the conquest of the Alpine region in 15 BC, the Romans built a castellum on the Lindenhof. Later here was erected Turicum, a toponym of clear Celtic origin, a tax-collecting point for goods trafficked on the limit, which constituted part of the border between Gallia Belgica from AD 90 Germania Superior and Riccia. This customs point developed later into a vicus. After Emperor Constantine's reforms in AD 318, the border between Gaul and Italy, two of the four Praetorian prefectures of the Roman Empire, was located east of Turicum, crossing the river Linth between Lake Wailan and Lake Zurich, where a castle and garrison looked over Turicum's safety. The earliest written record of the town dates from the 2nd century, with a tombstone referring to it as to the Statio Tyricensis Quadragesima Galliarum, Zurich post for collecting the 2.5% value tax of the Gallii. Discovered at the Lindenhof, in the 5th century, the Germanic Aelmanni tribe settled in the Swiss plateau. The Roman castle remained standing until the 7th century. A Carolingian castle, built on the site of the Roman castle by the grandson of Charlemagne, Louis the German, is mentioned in 835 in Castro Turricino Iuxta Fluvium Lindemacy. Louis also founded the Fraumunster Abbey in 853 for his daughter Hildegard. He endowed the Benedictine convent with the lands of Zurich, Uri, and the Albis Forest, and granted the convent immunity, placing it under his direct authority. In 1045, King Henry III granted the convent the right to hold markets, collect tolls, and mint coins, and thus effectively made the abbess the ruler of the city. Zurich gained imperial immediacy Reichsunmittelbar, becoming an imperial free city, in 1218 with the extinction of the main line of the Tsaringer family and attained a status comparable to statehood. During the 1230s, a city wall was built, enclosing 38 hectares, when the earliest stone houses on the Ren Weg were built as well. The Carolingian castle was used as a quarry, as it had started to fall into ruin. Emperor Frederick II promoted the abbess of the Fraumunster to the rank of a duchess in 1234. The abbess nominated the mayor, and she frequently delegated the minting of coins to citizens of the city. The political power of the convent slowly waned in the 14th century, beginning with the establishment of the Zunftordnung guild laws in 1336 by Rudolf Brun, who also became the first independent mayor, i.e. not nominated by the abbess. An important event in the early 14th century was the completion of the Menes Codex, a key source of medieval German poetry. The famous illuminated manuscript, described as the most beautifully illumined German manuscript in centuries, was commissioned by the Menes family of Zurich, copied and illustrated in the city at some time between 1304 and 1340. Producing such a work was a highly expensive prestige project, requiring several years' work by highly skilled scribes and miniature painters, and it clearly testifies to the increasing wealth and pride of Zurich citizens in this period. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Old Swiss Confederacy. On 1 May 1351, the citizens of Zurich had to swear allegiance before representatives of the cantons of Lucerne, Schwyz, Uri and Unterwalden, the other members of the Swiss Confederacy. Thus, Zurich became the fifth member of the Confederacy, which was at that time a loose confederation of de facto independent states. Zurich was the presiding canton of the Diet from 1468 to 1519. This authority was the executive council and lawmaking body of the Confederacy, from the Middle Ages until the establishment of the Swiss federal state in 1848. Zurich was temporarily expelled from the Confederacy in 1440 due to a war with the other member states over the territory of Toggenburg the Old Zurich War. Neither side had attained significant victory when peace was agreed upon in 1446, and Zurich was readmitted to the Confederation in 1450. Swingley started the Swiss Reformation at the time when he was the main preacher in the 1520s, at the Grossmünster. He lived there from 1484 until his death in 1531. The Zurich Bible, based on that of Swingley, was issued in 1531. The Reformation resulted in major changes in state matters and civil life in Zurich, spreading also to a number of other cantons. Several cantons remained Catholic and became the basis of serious conflicts that eventually led to the outbreak of the Wars of Kappel. During the 16th and 17th centuries, the Council of Zurich adopted an isolationist attitude, resulting in a second ring of imposing fortifications built in 1624. The Thirty Years' War which raged across Europe motivated the city to build these walls. The fortifications required a lot of resources, which were taken from subject territories without reaching any agreement. The following revolts were crushed brutally. In 1648, Zurich proclaimed itself a republic, shedding its former status of a free imperial city. In this time the political system of Zurich was an oligarchy, patriciate, the dominant families of the city were the following ones, Bonstetten, Brune, Berkeley, Escher vom Glas, Escher vom Lutz, Herzl, Jory, or von Jory, Kulksberger, Landenberg, Maness, Mice, Meyer von Nonai, Molnar, von O'Reilly. The Helvetic Revolution of 1798 saw the fall of the ancient regime. Zurich lost control of the land and its economic privileges, and the city and the canton separated their possessions between 1803–05. In 1839, the city had to yield to the demands of its urban subjects, following the Zurichputsch of 6 September. Most of the ramparts built in the 17th century were torn down, without ever having been besieged, to allay rural concerns over the city's hegemony. The Treaty of Zurich between Austria, France, and Sardinia was signed in 1859. Modern history Zurich was the federal capital for 1839–40, and consequently, the victory of the Conservative Party there in 1839 caused a great stir throughout Switzerland. But when in 1845 the Radicals regained power at Zurich, which was again the federal capital for 1845–46, Zurich took the lead in opposing the Sonderbund cantons. Following the Sonderbund War and the formation of the Swiss federal state, Zurich voted in favor of the federal constitutions of 1848 and of 1874. The enormous immigration from the country districts into the town from the 1830s onwards created an industrial class which, though «settled» in the town, did not possess the privileges of burghership, and consequently had no share in the municipal government. 
First of all in 1860 the town schools, hitherto open to «settlers» only on paying high fees, were made accessible to all. Next in 1875 ten years residence ipso facto conferred the right of burghership, and in 1893 the eleven outlying districts were incorporated within the town proper. Extensive developments took place during the 19th century. From 1847, the Spanish Brotley Bahn, the first railway on Swiss territory, connected Zurich with Baden, putting the Zurich Hauptbahnhof at the origin of the Swiss rail network. The present building of the Hauptbahnhof, the main railway station, dates to 1871. Zurich's Bahnhofstrasse Station Street was laid out in 1867, and the Zurich Stock Exchange was founded in 1877. Industrialization led to migration into the cities and to rapid population growth, particularly in the suburbs of Zurich. The Quayenlagen are an important milestone in the development of the modern city of Zurich, as the construction of the new lake front transformed Zurich from a small medieval town on the river's limit and SIHL to an attractive modern city on the Zurich seashore. Under the guidance of the city engineer Arnold Berkeley, in 1893, the twelve outlying districts were incorporated into Zurich, including Ossersiel, the workmen's quarter on the left bank of the SIHL, and additional land was reclaimed from Lake Zurich. In 1934, eight additional districts in the north and west of Zurich were incorporated. Zurich was accidentally bombed during World War II. Topic: <laughs> Coat of Arms. The blue and white coat of arms of Zurich is attested from 1389 and was derived from banners with blue and white stripes in use since 1315. The first certain testimony of banners with the same design is from 1434. The coat of arms is flanked by two lions. The red schwenkel on top of the banner had varying interpretations. For the people of Zurich, it was a mark of honor, granted by Rudolf I. Zurich's neighbors mocked it as a sign of shame, commemorating the loss of the banner at Winterthur in 1292. Today, the canton of Zurich uses the same coat of arms as the city. Topic. Politics Topic City Districts The previous boundaries of the city of Zurich before 1893 were more or less synonymous with the location of the old town Two large expansions of the city limits occurred in 1893 and in 1934 when the city of Zurich merged with many surrounding municipalities, that had been growing increasingly together since the 19th century. Today, the city is divided into 12 districts known as Kreis in German, numbered 1 to 12, each one of which contains between 1 and 4 neighborhoods. Kreis 1, known as Altstadt, contains the old town, both to the east and west of the start of the limit. District 1 contains the neighborhoods of Hochschulen, Rathaus, Lindenhof, and City. Kreis 2 lies along the west side of Lake Zurich, and contains the neighborhoods of Inga, Wallishofen and Limbach. Kreis 3, known as Weed Icon, is between the SIHL and the Uetliberg, and contains the neighborhoods of Old Weed Icon, Sealfield, and Friesenberg. Kreis 4, known as Ossersiel, lies between the SIHL and the train tracks leaving Zurich Hauptbahnhof, and contains the neighborhoods of Word, Langstrasse, and Hard. 
Price 5, known as Industriaquartier, is between the limit and the train tracks leaving Zurich Hauptbahnhof. It contains the former industrial area of Zurich, which has gone under a large scale rezoning to create upscale modern housing, retail, and commercial real estate. It contains the neighborhoods of Guibeschula, and Escher Wiss. Kreis 6 is on the edge of the Zurichberg, a hill overlooking the eastern part of the city. District 6 contains the neighborhoods of Oberstrasse and Unterstrasse. Kreis 7 is on the edge of the Adlersberg Hill as well as the Zurichberg, on the eastern side of the city. District 7 contains the neighborhoods of Flunten, Hottingen, and Herzlinden. These neighborhoods are home to Zurich's wealthiest and more prominent residents. The neighborhood Wittikon also belongs to District 7. Kreis 8, officially called Riesbach, but colloquially known as Seefeld, lies on the eastern side of Lake Zurich. District 8 consists of the neighborhoods of Seefeld, Müllerbach, and Weinegg. Kreis 9 is between the limit to the north and the Uetliberg to the south. It contains the neighborhoods Altstetten and Albisreden. Kreis 10 is to the east of the limit and to the south of the Hongerberg and Kafferberg hills. District 10 contains the neighborhoods of Hong and Wipkingen. Kreis 11 is in the area north of the Hongerberg and Kafferberg and between the Glatt Valley and the Katzensee Katz Lake. It contains the neighborhoods of Afalten, Erlikon and Seabach. Kreis 12, known as Schwemendingen, is located in the Glattel Glatt Valley on the northern side of the Zurichberg. District 12 contains the neighborhoods of Saarlen, Schwamendigen Mitte, and Herzenbach. Most of the district boundaries are fairly similar to the original boundaries of the previously existing municipalities before they were incorporated into the city of Zurich. Topic: <laughs> Government The City Council Statrat constitutes the executive government of the City of Zurich and operates as a collegiate authority. It is composed of nine councillors, each presiding over a department. Departmental tasks, coordination measures and implementation of laws decreed by the Municipal Council are carried out by the City Council. The regular election of the city council by any inhabitant valid to vote is held every four years. The mayor German Stadtpräsident in is elected as such by a public election by a system of majets while the heads of the other departments are assigned by the collegiate. Any resident of Zürich allowed to vote can be elected as a member of the city council. In the mandate period 2018 to 2022 legislature, the city council is presided by Mayor Karin Mauch. The executive body holds its meetings in the city hall, German Stadthaus, on the left bank of the limit. The building was built in 1883 in Renaissance style. As of May 2018, the Zurich City Council is made up of three representatives of the SP Social Democratic Party, one of whom is the mayor, two members each of the Green Party and the FDP Free Democratic Party, and one member each of GLP Green Liberal Party and our Alternative Left Party, giving the left parties a combined seven out of nine seats. The last regular election was held on 4 March 2018. Claudia Kutschkirti is town chronicler since 2012, and Peter Sale is legal counsel since 2000 for the city council. Parliament The Municipal Council Jemmy Inderet, holds the legislative power. It is made up of 125 members Gemeindrat with elections held every four years. 
The Municipal Council decrees regulations and by laws that are executed by the City Council and the Administration. The sessions of the Municipal Council are held in public. Unlike those of the City Council, the members of the Municipal Council are not politicians by profession but are paid a fee based on their attendance. Any resident of Zurich allowed to vote can be elected as a member of the Municipal Council. The legislative body holds its meetings in the Town Hall Rathaus, on the right bank of the limit opposite to the City Hall Stadthaus. .The last election of the Municipal Council was held on 4 March 2018 for the mandate period of 2018–2022. As of May 2018, the Municipal Council consists of 43 members of the Social Democratic Party SP, 21 the Liberals FDP, 17 members of the Swiss People's Party SVP, 16 Green Party GPS, 14 Green Liberal Party GLP, 10 Alternative List AL, and 4 members of the Evangelical People's Party EVP, giving the left parties an absolute majority of 69. Topic. Elections Topic. National Council In the 2015 election for the Swiss National Council the most popular party was the SPS which received 31.3% of the vote. The next four most popular parties were the SVP 18.1%, the FDP 14.2%, the GPS 10.7%, the GLP 9.2%. In the federal election, a total of 114,377 voters were cast, and the voter turnout was 46.2%. Topic: International relations. Topic: Twin towns and sister cities Zurich is partnered with two sister cities, Kunming and San Francisco. Geography <inaudible> 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 Zurich is situated at 408 meters, 1339 feet above sea level on the lower northern end of Lake Zurich, Zurich Sea, about 30 kilometers, 19 miles north of the Alps, nestling between the wooded hills on the west and east side. The old town stretches on both sides of the limit, which flows from the lake, running northwards at first and then gradually turning into a curve to the west. The geographic and historic center of the city is the Lindenhof, a small natural hill on the west bank of the limit, about 700 meters (2300 feet) north of where the river issues from Lake Zurich. Today the incorporated city stretches somewhat beyond the natural confines of the hills and includes some districts to the northeast in the Glatt Valley and to the north in the Limit Valley The boundaries of the older city are easy to recognize by the Schanzengraben Canal. This artificial watercourse has been used for the construction of the Third Fortress in the 17th and 18th centuries. Topography The municipality of Zurich has an area of 91.88 square kilometers, 35.48 square miles, of which 4.1 square kilometers, 1.6 square miles is made up of Lake Zurich. The area includes a section of the northern Swiss plateau. The banks of the limit constitute the densest part of the city. 
The river is oriented in the southeast-northwest direction, with the flat valley floor having a width of 2 to 2 to 3 km the partially channeled and straightened limit does not flow in the central part of the valley, but always along its right northeastern side. The SIHL meets with the limit at the end of Platzbitz, which borders the Swiss National Museum. The limit reaches the lowest point of the municipality in Oberingstringen at 392 meters (1,286 feet) above sea level. On its west side, the Limit Valley is flanked by the wooded heights of the Albis Chain, which runs along the western border. The Uetliberkis, with 869 meters (2,851 feet) above sea level, the highest elevation of the surrounding area. Its summit can be reached easily by the Uetliberkbahn. From the platform of the observation tower on the summit, an impressive panorama of the city, the lake, and the Alps can be seen. The northeast side of the Limit Valley includes a range of hills, which marks the watershed between the Limit and the Glatt. From the northwest to the southeast, the height of the mostly wooded knolls generally increases. The Gubrist, 615 meters or 2,018 feet; the Hongerberg, 541 meters or 1,775 feet; the Kafferberg, 571 meters or 1,873 feet; the Zurichberg, 676 meters or 2,000 218 feet, the Atlasberg, 701 meters or 2,300 feet, and the Oshbrig, 696 meters or 2,283 feet. Between the Kafferberg and the Zurichberg is located the saddle of the Milchbach, about 470 meters or 1,540 feet, an important passage from the Limit Valley to the Glatt Valley. The northernmost part of the municipality extends to the plain of the Glatt Valley and to the saddle which makes the connection between the Glattel and Fertile. Also, a part of the Katzenzeit Nature Reserve and the Busy Zay, both of which are drained by the Katzenbach to Glatt, belong to the city. Topic. Climate. Zurich has, depending on the definition used, an oceanic climate Koppen, CFB, but in the higher areas it is defined as a humid continental climate DFB, using 0 degrees Celsius isotherm with warm summers and four distinct seasons. Decisive for the climate of Zurich are both the winds from westerly directions, which often result in precipitation and, on the other hand, the bees' east or northeast wind, which is usually associated with high-pressure situations, but cooler weather phases with temperatures lower than the average. The fern wind, which plays an important role in the northern Alpine valleys, also has some impact on Zurich. The annual mean temperature at the measuring station of the Federal Office of Meteorology and Climatology in Zurich Flunten, 556 meters (1824 feet) above sea level on the slope of the Zurichberg, 150 meters (490 feet) above the level of the city center is 9.3 degrees Celsius .7 degrees Fahrenheit. The lowest monthly mean of daily minimum temperature are measured in January with minus 2.0 degrees Celsius .4 degrees Fahrenheit and the highest monthly mean of daily maximum temperature are measured in July with 24.0 degrees Celsius .2 degrees Fahrenheit. On average there are 74.9 days in which the minimum temperature is below 0 degrees Celsius 32 degrees Fahrenheit so-called frost days, and 23.7 days in which the maximum temperature is below 0 degrees Celsius 32 degrees Fahrenheit so-called ice days. 
There are on average of 30 so-called summer days maximum temperature equal to or above 25 degrees Celsius 77 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the year, while so-called heat days with maximum temperature equal to or above 30 degrees Celsius 86 degrees Fahrenheit are 5.8 days. The average high temperature in July is 24.0 degrees Celsius 75.2 degrees Fahrenheit height and average low temperature is 14 degrees Celsius 57.2 degrees Fahrenheit The highest recorded temperature in Zurich was 37.7 degrees Celsius 100 degrees Fahrenheit recorded on July 1947 and typically the warmest day reaches an average of 32.2 degrees Celsius .0 degrees Fahrenheit. .Spring and autumn are generally cool to mild, but sometimes with large differences between warm and cold days even during the same year. The highest temperature of the month March in 2014 was on the 20th at 20.6 degrees Celsius, 69.1 degrees Fahrenheit during a sunny afternoon and the lowest temperature was on the 25th at -0.4 degrees Celsius, 31.3 degrees Fahrenheit during the night early morning. Record low of average daily temperatures in March since 1864 is -12 degrees Celsius, 10 degrees Fahrenheit, and record high of average daily temperatures in March is 16 degrees Celsius, 61 degrees Fahrenheit. Record low of average daily temperatures in October is minus 16 degrees Celsius, 3 degrees Fahrenheit, and record high of average daily temperatures in October is 20 degrees Celsius, 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Zurich has an average of 1,544 hours of sunshine per year and shines on 38% of its potential time throughout the year. During the months April until September the sun shines between 150 and 215 hours per month. The 1,134 mm in rainfall spread on 133.9 days with precipitation throughout the year. Roughly about every third day you will encounter at least some precipitation, which is very much a Swiss average. During the warmer half of the year and especially during the three summer months, the strength of rainfall is higher than those measured in winter, but the days with precipitation stays about the same throughout the year in average 9.9 .9 to 12.7 days per month. October has the lowest number 9.9 .9 of days with some precipitation. There is an average of 59.5 so-called bright days, number of days with sunshine duration greater than 80% through the year, the most in July and August, 7.4, 7.7 days, and the least in January and December, 2.7, 1.8 days. The average number of days with sunshine duration less than 20%, so-called cloudy days, is 158.4 days, while the most cloudy days are in November 17.8 days, December 21.7 days, and January with 19 days. Topic: <laughs> Climate protection. The city is among the world leaders in protecting the climate by following a manifold approach. In November 2008 the people of Zurich voted in a public referendum to write into law the quantifiable and fixed deadline of one tonne of CO2 per person per annum by 2050. This forces any decision of the executive to support this goal, even if the costs are higher in all dimensions. Some examples of the new disinfection section of the public city hospital in Triemly, Mina GP Quality, Passive House, the continued optimization and creation of public transportation, enlargement of the bicycle-only network, research and projects for renewable energy and enclosure of speedways. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Urban area. The areas surrounding the limit are almost completely developed with residential, industrial, and commercial zones. The sunny and desirable residential areas in the hills overlooking Zurich, Weyberg and Zurichberg, and the bottom part of the slope on the western side of the valley on the Uetliberg, are also densely built. The «green lungs» of the city include the vast forest areas of Adlersberg, Zurichberg, Kafferberg, Hongerberg and Uetliberg. Major parks are also located along the lake shore Zurichon and Inga, while smaller parks dot the city. Larger contiguous agricultural lands are located near a Fulton and Seabark. Of the total area of the municipality of Zurich in 1996, without the lake, 45.4% is residential, industrial and commercial, 15.5% is transportation infrastructure, 26.5% is forest, 11%, is agriculture and 1.2% is water. Topic: Transport. Topic: Public transport. Public transport is extremely popular in Zurich, and its inhabitants use public transport in large numbers. About 70% of the visitors to the city use the tram or bus, and about half of the journeys within the municipality take place on public transport. Within Zürich and throughout the canton of Zürich, the ZVV network of public transport has traffic density ratings among the highest worldwide. When adding frequency, which in Zurich can be as often as seven minutes, it does become the densest across all dimensions. Three means of mass transit exist, the S-Bahn local trains, trams, and buses, both diesel and electric, also called trolleybuses. In addition, the public transport network includes boats on the lake and river, funicular railways and even the Luftseilbahn Adlerswil Felsenegg LAF, a cable car between Adlerswil and Felsenegg. Tickets purchased for a trip are valid on all means of public transportation train, tram, bus, boat. The Zurich Sea Schiffartelschaft, commonly abbreviated to ZSG, operates passenger vessels on the limit and the Lake Zurich, connecting surrounding towns between Zurich and Rapperswil. Zurich is a mixed hub for railways, roads, and air traffic. Zurich Hauptbahnhof Zurich HB, is the largest and busiest station in Switzerland and is an important railway hub in Europe. There are between 350,000 and 500,000 commuters daily making use of this central network node, a significant figure in comparison to Zurich's population. With regard to the number of trains daily entering and leaving a single railway station, Zurich HB is the world's most frequently served railway station, with 2,915 trains every day. Among the 16 railway stations and 10 additional train stops within Zurich city borders, there are five other major passenger railway stations. Three of them belong to the ten most frequented railway stations in Switzerland, Stadelhofen, Erlikon, Altstetten, Hardbrucker, and Enger. The railway network is mainly operated by the Swiss Federal Railways SBB CFFFFS, but Zurich is also served by major Eurocity trains from the neighboring countries and is a destination for both French Swiss TGV Lyria and German ICE high-speed trains, as well as by Austrian Railjet. Topic. Zurich Airport Zurich Airport is located less than 10 km miles northeast of the city in Clauten. 
Zurich Airport has its own railway station, which is located underground. It is directly connected to Zurich and most of the major Swiss cities. Zurich Airport is served by more than 60 passenger airlines from around the world. It is also served by one cargo airline and is a hub for Swiss International Airlines. There is also an airfield in Dubendorf. Topic. Road traffic The A1, A3 and A4 motorways pass close to Zurich. The A1 heads west towards Bern and Geneva and eastwards towards St. Gallen, the A4 leads northwards to Schaffhausen and southwards to Altdorf connecting with the A2 towards Chiasso, and the A3 heads northwest towards Basel and southeast along Lake Zurich and Lake Weyland towards Sargans. Bicycle transport In 2012, the City Council launched a program to improve the city's attractiveness for bicycle traffic. The so-called Masterplan Velo is part of the superordinate framework Statverkehr 2025 which shapes the future of the different means of transport. Research revealed that infrastructure and the social environment are essential factors in improving a city's appeal to bicycle traffic. Three main goals are specified, first, the modal share of bicycle traffic should be enhanced to twice the value of 2011 by 2015. Second, cyclists' safety should be improved to lower the overall accident risk. Third, cycling should be established as an everyday means of transport with a special focus on children and young people. In terms of infrastructure, the city aims to build up a network of distinctive bicycle routes in order to achieve these objectives. At a final stage, the network will consist of main routes Haupttrauten for everyday use and comfort routes Komfortrauten, with the latter focusing on leisure cycling. Additional measures such as special velostation and providing bike-related services are expected to help to further improve the quality. One of the key projects of the system is a tunnel beneath the tracks of the main railway station planned to combine a main connection with staffed possibilities where commuters can leave their bikes throughout the day. Apart from infrastructural measures, further approaches are planned in the fields of communication, education and administration. However, these efforts cause critique, mainly due to postponing. The institution of the bike tunnel at the main railway station, originally planned for 2016, is currently 2016, delayed to at least 2019. Pro Velo, a nationwide interest group, has publicly questioned whether the master plan already failed. The critique aims at badly governed traffic management at construction sites, missing possibilities to park bikes in the city as well as rather diffident ambitions. In response, the responsible city department points to the big investments made every year and mentions ongoing discussions that would finally lead to even better results. Topic. Demographics Topic. Population There are 409,241 people living in Zurich as of 31 December 2017, making it Switzerland's largest city. Of registered inhabitants, in 2016, 32% 133,473 do not hold Swiss citizenship. 
Of these, German citizens make up the largest group with 8% 33,548, followed by Italians 3.5% 14,543. The population of the city including suburbs totals 1.19 million people. The entire metropolitan area including the cities of Winterthur, Baden, Brag, Schaffhausen, Frauenfeld, Uster, Wetzikon, Rapperswil, Jona and Zarg has a population of around 1.83 million people. Topic: <laughs> Languages <laughs> 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 The official formal language used by governmental institutions, print, news, universities, schools, courts, theatre and in any kind of written form is the Swiss variety of standard German, while the spoken language is Zurich German one of the several more or less distinguishable, but mutually intelligible Swiss German dialects of Switzerland with roots in the medieval Alemannic German dialect groups. However, because of Zurich's national importance, and therefore its existing high fluctuation, one can hear all kinds of Swiss-German dialects spoken by its inhabitants and commuters. As of the December 2010 census, 69.3% of the population speaks diglossic Swiss-German Swiss Standard German as their mother tongue at home. Some 22.7% of inhabitants speak Standard German in their family environment, at home, dramatically increasing. According to the last census in 2000, 8.8% .8 now speak English. Italian follows behind at 7.1% of the population, then French at 4.5%. Other languages spoken here include Croatian and Serbian 4.1%, Spanish 3.9%, Portuguese 3.1%, and Albanian 2.3%. Multiple choices were possible, thus 20% of the population speak two or more languages at home. Topic: Religion Before the Protestant Reformation reached Zurich, it was de jure and de facto Roman Catholic. The Protestant Reformation led by Huldrych Swingley made Zurich both a theological centre and a stronghold of Protestantism in Switzerland. Another Swiss city with a comparable status was Geneva, the so-called Protestant Rome, where John Calvin and his Protestant reformers operated. Zurich attracted other influential Protestant reformers like Heinrich Bullinger. Zwingli translated the Bible, Zurich Bible into the local variety of German and introduced the Reformation by winning support of the magistrates, the princess abbess Katharina von Zimmern and the largely peasant population of the canton of Zurich. The canton unanimously adopted the Reformed tradition as represented by Zwingli. Religious wars between Catholics and Protestants tormented the Swiss Confederacy. Zwingli died for political and religious reasons by defending the canton of Zurich in the Battle of Kappel. Bullinger took over his role as the city's spiritual leader. In 1970, about 53% of the population were Swiss Reformed, while almost 40% were Roman Catholic. Since then both large Swiss churches, the Roman Catholic Church and Swiss Reformed Church, have been constantly losing members, though for the Catholic Church the decrease started 20 years later in around 1990. Nevertheless, for the last 20 years both confessions have been reduced by 10% to the current figures census 2010, 30% Roman Catholic and 26% Swiss Reformed organized in Evangelical Reformed Church of the Canton of Zurich. In 1970, only 2% of Zurich's inhabitants claimed to be not affiliated with any religious confession. 
In accordance with the loss by the large Swiss churches, the number of people declaring themselves as non-affiliated rose to 17% in the year 2000. In the last 10 years, this figure rose to more than 25%. For the group of people, being between 24 and 44 years old, this is as high as one in every third person. 0.5% of Zurich's inhabitants are Muslims, a slight decrease of 1% compared to the year 2000. The Mahmud Mosque Zurich, situated in Forchstrasse, is the first mosque built in Switzerland. The population of Jewish ethnicity and religion has been more or less constant since 1970 at about 1%. The synagogue Zurich Lohenstrasse is the oldest and largest synagogue of Zurich. Nearly one tenth of the city's population are members of non state recognized Christian denominations, for example, the Eastern Orthodox Church. More than 2% of Zurich's population account for non monotheistic religions, such as Buddhism or Hinduism. Social The level of unemployment in Zurich was 3.2% in July 2012. In 2008, the average monthly income was about 7,000 Swiss francs before any deductions for social insurances and taxes. In 2010, there were 12,994 cases on average per month of direct or indirect welfare payments from the state. Topic. Main sites Most of Zurich's sites are located within the area on either side of the limit, between the main railway station and Lake Zurich. The churches and houses of the old town are clustered here, as are the most expensive shops along the famous Bahnhofstrasse. The Lindenhof in the Old Town is the historical site of the Roman castle, and the later Carolingian Imperial Palace. <laughs> Churches Grossmünster, Great Minster. According to legend, Charlemagne discovered the graves of the city's martyrs Felix and Regula and had built the first church as a monastery, start of current building around 1100. In the first half of the 16th century, the Great Minster was the starting point of the Swiss German Reformation led by Huldrich Swingli and Heinrich Bullinger, declared by Charlemagne Imperial Church, Romanesque crypt, Roman capitals in the church and cloister, choir windows by Augusto Giacometti 1932, and Sigmar Polka 2009, bronze doors by Otto Munch 1935 and 1950. Fraumünster, Women's Minster, Church of a former Abbey for aristocratical women from southern Germany, which was founded in 853 by Louis the German for his daughter Hildegard, first church built before 874. The Romanesque choir dates from 1250 to 70. The church enjoyed the patronage of kings and had the right of coinage from Zurich to the 13th century. After the Reformation, church Church and convent passed into the possession of the city. The most important jewelry, in addition to the largest organ in the canton with its 5,793 pipes and 92 stops, are color windows. The window in the north transept of Augusto Giacometti, the five part cycle in the choir, and the rosette in the southern transept are by Marc Chagall also the Church of Zurich's largest choir with 100 and more singers. 
Saint Peter Romanesque Gothic Baroque Church built on remains of former churches from before the 9th century, with the largest church clock face in Europe built 1538, baptismal font of 1598, Baroque stucco, individual stalls from the 15th century from city repealed monasteries with rich carvings and armrests, cancel etna, increased barrier between the nave and choir with built pulpit of 1704. Five pulpit sounding board about 1790, rich acanthus embellishment with Bible verse above the pulpit, 1971 new crystal chandelier modeled according 1710 design, organ in 1974 with 53 stops, bells, 5 from 1880, the largest, a minor, without clapper weighs about 6,000 kg, 13,228 pounds, fire guard in the Tower to the Middle Ages to 1911. Predigerkirche is one of the four main churches of the Old Town, first built in 1231 AD as a Romanesque church of the then Dominican Prediger Kloster nearby the Neumarkt. It was converted in the first half of the 14th century, and the choir rebuilt between 1308 and 1350. Due to its construction and for that time unusual high bell tower, it was regarded as most high Gothic edifice in Zurich. Topic: Museums. Zurich Museum of Art, the Museum of Art, also known as Kunsthaus Zurich, is one of the significant art museums of Europe. It holds one of the largest collections in classic modern art in the world Munch, Picasso, Braque, Giacometti, etc. The museum also features a large library collection of photographs. Swiss National Museum, the National Museum, German, Landesmuseum displays many objects that illustrate the cultural and historical background of Switzerland. It also contains many ancient artifacts, including stained glass, costumes, painted furniture and weapons. The museum is located in the Platzpitz Park opposite to the Hauptbahnhof. Centre Le Corbusier, located on the shore of the Lake Zurich nearby Zurich Horn, the Centre Le Corbusier also named, Heidi Weber Museum, is an art museum dedicated to the work of the Swiss architect Le Corbusier, inside the last house he designed. Riotberg Museum, the Riotberg Museum, situated in Gabler Strasse, is one of the great repositories of art and culture in Zurich. The museum also displays exhibits gathered from various corners of the world, bronze artifacts from Tibet, ceramics and jade, Indian sculpture, Chinese grave decorations, masks by African tribes etc. Museum of Design – The Museum of Design is a museum for industrial design, visual communication, architecture and craft. It is part of the Department of Cultural Analysis of the Zurich University of the Arts. House Constructive – The House Constructive is a museum with Swiss-wide and international recognition. The museum is about constructive, concrete and conceptual art and design. It testimonies to Zurich's industrial architecture in the immediate vicinity of the main station. Uhren Museum Bayer, the Uhren Museum is located in the heart of the city. Documenting the history of timekeeping and timekeepers, the museum is home to a large collection of mechanical timepieces as well as a collection of primitive time-keeping devices such as water clocks, sundials and hourglasses. No Show Museum – The No Show Museum is the first museum dedicated to nothing and its various manifestations throughout the history of art. Guild Houses – The Guild Houses German, Zunfthaus, are located along the limit downstream from the Grossmünster, Meisen also a porcelain and faience museum, Rudin, Hauer, Safran, Schneiden, Schmidden, Zimmeluten, and some more. 
Tram Museum The Tram Museum is located at Bergwies in Zurich's eastern suburbs, and chronicles the history of Zurich's iconic tram system with exhibits varying in date from 1897 to the present day. North America Native Museum – The North American Native Museum specializes in the conservation, documentation and presentation of ethnographic objects and art of Native American, First Nation and Inuit cultures. <laughs> Parks and nature Zoological Garden – The Zoological Garden holds about 260 species of animals and houses about 2,200 animals. One can come across separate enclosures of snow leopards, India lions, clouded leopards, and more leopards, otters and pandas in the zoo. Botanical Garden – The Botanical Garden houses about 15,000 species of plants and trees and contains as many as 3 million plants. In the garden, many rare plant species from southwestern part of Africa, as well as from New Caledonia can be found. The University of Zurich holds the ownership of the Botanical Garden. Chinese Garden – The Chinese Garden is a gift by Zurich's Chinese partner town Kunming, as remissance for Zurich's technical and scientific assistance in the development of the Kunming city drinking water supply and drainage. The garden is an expression of one of the main themes of Chinese culture, the three friends of winter, three plants that together brave the cold season, pine, bamboo, and plum. Uetliberg, located to the west of the city at an altitude of 813 meters (2667 feet) above sea level, the Uetliberg is the highest hill and offers views over the city. The summit is easily accessible by train from Zurich main station. Topic: Architecture. Compared to other cities, there are few tall buildings in Zurich. The Municipal Building Regulations Article 9 limit the construction of high-rise buildings to areas in the west and north of the city. In the industrial district, in Altsted and an early con, buildings up to 80 meters (260 feet) in height are allowed. High-rise area I. In the adjacent high-rise areas 2 and 3 the height is limited to 40 meters 130 feet. Around the year 2000, regulations became more flexible and high-rise buildings were again planned and built. The People's Initiative, 40 meters 130 feet, is enough which would have reduced both the maximum height and the high-rise buildings area, was clearly rejected on 29 November 2009. At this time in Zurich about a dozen high-rise buildings were under construction or in planning, including the Prime Tower as the tallest skyscraper in Switzerland. World Heritage Sites. The prehistoric settlements at Inga Alpenquai and Grosser Hafner and Kleiner Hafner are part of the prehistoric pile dwellings around the Alps, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Economy. Zurich is a leading financial center and global city. In the 2017 Global Financial Centers Index, Zurich was ranked as having the 11th most competitive financial center in the world, and second most competitive in Europe after London. The Greater Zurich Area is Switzerland's economic center and home to a large number of international companies. By far the most important sector in the economy of Zurich is the service industry, which employs nearly four-fifths of workers. 
Other important industries include light industry, machine and textile industries and tourism. Most Swiss banks have their headquarters in Zurich and there are numerous foreign banks in the Greater Zurich area. Located in Zurich, the Swiss Stock Exchange was established in 1877 and is nowadays the fourth most prominent stock exchange in the world. In addition Zurich is the world's largest gold trading center. Ten of the country's 50 largest companies have their head offices in Zurich, among them App, UBS, Credit Suisse, Swiss Re and Zurich Financial Services. Contributory factors to economic strength The high quality of life has been cited as a reason for economic growth in Zurich. The consulting firm Mercer has for many years ranked Zurich as a city with the highest quality of life in the world. In particular, Zurich received high scores for work, housing, leisure, education and safety. Local planning authorities ensure clear separation between urban and recreational areas and there are many protected nature reserves. Zurich is also ranked the third most expensive city in the world, behind Hong Kong and Tokyo and ahead of Singapore. Zurich benefits from the high level of investment in education that is typical of Switzerland in general and provides skilled labor at all levels. The city is home to two major universities, thus enabling access to graduates and high technology research. Professional training incorporates a mix of practical work experience and academic study while, in general, emphasis is placed on obtaining a good level of general education and language ability. As a result, the city is home to many multilingual people and employees generally demonstrate a high degree of motivation and a low level of absenteeism. Such characteristics are reflected in the high level of productivity the region enjoys and account for the opening of offices and research centers in the city by large corporations. The Swiss Stock Exchange The Swiss Stock Exchange is called Six Swiss Exchange, formerly known as SWX. The Six Swiss Exchange is the head group of several different worldwide operative financial systems, Eurex, Eurex US, EXFED, Stocks, and Vertex. The exchange turnover generated at the SWX was in 2007 of 1,780,499.5 million Swiss francs. The number of transactions arrived in the same period at 35,339,296, and the Swiss Performance Index (SPI) arrived at a total market capitalization of 1,3 359,976.2 million Swiss francs. The Six Swiss Exchange goes back more than 150 years. In 1996, an electronic trading platform replaced the open outcry trading system at the Stock Exchanges of Geneva, founded in 1850, Zurich 1873, and Basel 1876. Since 2008, the Six Swiss Exchange has been part of the Six Group, as SWX Group, CIS Group and Telecours Group merged. <laughs> Education and research About 60,000 people study at the 20 universities, colleges and institutions of higher education in Zurich. Two of Switzerland's most distinguished universities are located in the city, the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology at Zurich, which is controlled by the federal government, and the University of Zurich, under direction of the Canton of Zurich. 
Both universities were listed in the top 50 world universities rated in 2007. ETH was founded in 1854 by the Swiss Confederation and opened its doors in 1855 as a polytechnic institute. ETH achieved its reputation particularly in the fields of chemistry, mathematics, and physics, and there are 21 Nobel laureates who are associated with the institution. ETH is usually ranked the top university in continental Europe. The institution consists of two campuses, the main building in the heart of the city and the new campus on the outskirts of the city. The University of Zurich was founded in 1833, although its beginnings date back to 1525 when the Swiss reformer Ulrich Zwingli founded a college of theology. Nowadays with its 24,000 students and 1,900 graduations each year, the University of Zürich is the largest in Switzerland and offers the widest range of subjects and courses at any Swiss higher education institution. The Pedagogical College, the Zürich University of Applied Sciences and the Zürich University of the Arts are another three top-class technical colleges which contribute to Zürich's reputation as a knowledge and research pole by providing applied research and development. Zürich is also one of the co-location centers of the knowledge and innovation community climate change mitigation and adaptation of the European Institute of Innovation and Technology. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> State universities by size in Canton Zürich. See also list of largest universities by enrollment in Switzerland. Topic: Media. Many large Swiss media conglomerates are headquartered in Zurich, such as Tamedia, Ringier, and the NZZ Verlag. Zurich is one of the most important media locations in the German-speaking part of the country. This status has been recently reinforced by the increase in availability of online publications published in Zurich. Television and radio The headquarters of Switzerland's national license fee funded German language television network, SF, are located in the Luchenbach neighborhood, to the north of the Erlikon railway station. Regional commercial television station, Telezuri, Zurich Television, has its headquarters near Escher Wissplatz. The production facilities for other commercial stations, Star TV, U1, TV and 3 Plus are located in Schlieren. One section of the Swiss German language license fee funded public radio station, Schweizer Radio DRS, is located in Zurich. There are commercial local radio stations broadcasting from Zurich, such as Radio 24. On the Limitstrasse, Energy Zurich, in Seefeld on the Krevstrasse, Radio Laura, and Radio One. There are other radio stations that operate only during certain parts of the year, such as CSD Radio, May, June, Radio Street Parade, July, August, and Rundfunk.fm, August, September. Topic. Print media There are three large daily newspapers published in Zurich that are known across Switzerland. The Neue Zürcher Zeitung NZZ, the Tages Anzeiger and Blick, the largest Swiss tabloid. All three of those newspapers publish Sunday editions. These are the NZZ am Sonntag, Sonntagscheitung and Sonntagsblick. 
Besides the three main daily newspapers, there are free daily commuter newspapers which are widely distributed, 20 Minute and 20 Minutes, publish weekdays in the mornings, and Blickema Bend weekdays but in the late afternoon. A number of magazines from major publishers are based in Zurich. Some examples of Balans, Die Weltwache, Annabelle, Schweizer Family and Schweizer Illustriert. Culture Zurich has a rich cultural tradition. In addition to high-quality museums and galleries, Zurich has high-caliber chamber and symphony orchestras and several important theaters. The Zurich Film Festival is one of the most important upcoming international film festivals. In just a few years, the festival became firmly established upon the national and international festival landscape. Over the course of 11 days, it attracts both stars and new talents and celebrates popular international productions. More recently, the Kickstarter.com funded Mobile Motion Film Festival held its first event in May 2015. One of the largest and most popular annual events in Zurich is the Street Parade, which is also one of the largest techno and dance music festivals in the world. Proceeding along the side of Lake Zurich, it normally occurs on the second Saturday in August. The first edition was held in 1992 with about 1,000 participants. By 2001 the event had reached the size of 1 million participants. The Zurifasht, on the other hand, is a triennial public festival. It features music, fireworks set to music, and other attractions throughout the Old Town. It is the largest public festival in Switzerland and is attended by up to two million visitors. The Kunst Zurich is an international contemporary art fair with an annual guest city. It combines most recent and youngest art with the works of well established artists. Another annual public art exhibit is the City Campaign, sponsored by the City Vereinigung, the local equivalent of a Chamber of Commerce with the cooperation of the city government. It consists of decorated sculptures distributed over the city center in public places. Past themes have included lions 1986, cows 1998, benches 2003, teddy bears 2005, and huge flower pots 2009. From this originated the concept of the cow parade that has been featured in other major world cities. Zurich is also the home to several art movements. The Cabaret Voltaire where the Dada movement was founded in 1916. Constructive art movement took also one of the first steps in Zurich. Artists like Max Bill, Marcel Brewer, Camille Grazer or Richard Paul Lauzer had their ateliers in Zurich, which became even more important after the takeover of power by the Nazi regime in Germany and World War II. The best known traditional holiday in Zurich is the Sexilauten, including a parade of the guilds and the burning of winter in effigy at the Sexilautenplatz. Another is the Nabenschissen target shooting competition for teenagers, originally boys, open to female participants since 1991. Topic. Opera, ballet and theatres The Zurich Opera House German, Zürcher Open House, is one of the principal opera houses in Europe. Built in 1834, it was the first permanent theatre in the heart of Zurich and was at the time, the main seat of Richard Wagner's activities. Later in 1890, the theatre was rebuilt as an ornate building with a neoclassical architecture. The portico is made of white and grey stone ornamented with the busts of Wagner, Weber and Mozart. Later, busts of Schiller, Shakespeare and Goethe were also added. 
The auditorium is designed in the Rococo style. Once a year, it hosts the Zürcher Open Ball with the President of the Swiss Confederation and the economic and cultural elite of Switzerland. The Ballet Zürich performs at the Opera House. The Schauspielhaus Zürich is the main theatre complex of the city. It has two dependencies, Fahlen in the central city district and Schiffbauer, an old industrial hall, in Zürich West. The Schauspielhaus was home to emigrants such as Bertolt Brecht or Thomas Mann, and saw premieres of works of Max Frisch, Friedrich Dürrenmatt, Bodo Strauss or Elfriede Jelinek. The Schauspielhaus is one of the most prominent and important theatres in the German speaking world. The Theater am Neumarkt is one of the oldest theatres of the city. Established by the old guilds in the old city district, it is located in a Baroque palace near Niederdorf Street. It has two stages staging mostly avant garde works by European directors. The Zürcher Theatre Spectacle is an international theatre festival, ranking among the most important European festivals for contemporary performing arts. Food The traditional cuisine of Zürich consists of traditional fare, reflecting the centuries of rule by patrician burghers as well as the lasting imprint of Huldrich Zwingli's Puritanism. Traditional dishes include Zürcher Geschnetzelts and Tiergel. <laughs> Nightlife and clubbing Zurich offers a great deal of variety when it comes to nighttime leisure. It is the host city of the world famous Street Parade, which takes place in August every year. The most famous districts for nightlife are the Niederdorf in the Old Town with bars, restaurants, lounges, hotels, clubs, etc., and a lot of fashion shops for a young and stylish public, and the Langstrasse in the districts 4 and 5 of the city. There are authentic amusements, bars, punk clubs, hip-hop stages, Caribbean restaurants, art house cinemas, Turkish kebabs and Italian espresso bars, but also sex shops or the famous red light district of Zurich. In the past ten years new parts of the city have risen into the spotlight. Notably, the area known as Zurich West in District 5, near the Escher Wyss Square and the S-Bahn station of Zurich Hardbrucker. <laughs> Sports Zurich is home to several international sport federations. The Fédération Internationale de Football Association FIFA, is headquartered in the city. In 2007 were inaugurated the new FIFA headquarters building, designed by architect Tillotheus. Association football is an essential aspect of sports in Zurich. The city is home to two major Swiss football teams, Grasshopper Club Zurich founded in 1886 and FC Zurich founded in 1896, both competing in Switzerland's highest league. Among the most popular sports in Switzerland is ice hockey. In Zurich it is represented by the ZSC Lions. The International Ice Hockey Federation IIHF, officiating as head organization for ice hockey leagues worldwide is based in Zurich as well. Cycling is a popular sport as well as a mean of transport in Zurich. Cycling routes are generally marked with red and white signs and the yellow lanes are exclusively meant for cyclists. Also hiking trails are well marked with yellow signs, which give the hiker the probable time it will take them to reach their destination. There are specific maps available for hiking and walking trails throughout Switzerland. Some of the most accessible walks in the Zurich area are the Uetliberg and the Zurichberg. 
As many as 30 clubs and 7 indoor curling facilities can be found in the Greater Zurich area. The curling season starts in early September and continues until the end of April. Events Weltklasse Zürich, sometimes referred to as the One Day Olympics, is a prestigious one day athletics meet held annually at the Letzegrund Stadium. Since it started on 12 August 1928, the sporting event has witnessed new world records and national records. To date, as many as 24 world records were set in Weltklass. Zurich Marathon is a popular sport event, inviting numerous athletes from every corner of the globe. Zurich Marathon is a long distance running event, covering 42.195 km miles at one stretch. The running course starts in Zurich and passes through Bahnhofstrasse, Bellevueplatz, Meithenquai, Quaybrucker, Talstrasse and Utoquai, and along Lake Zurich to several other places. New Year's Eve run is another important running event. The race is held on 1 January each year and the start takes place at midnight exactly. Zurich was one of six venues of the 1954 FIFA World Cup and one of eight venues of the UEFA Euro 2008. The Euro 2008 Games were held in the Letzegrund Stadium. Work on the new Letzegrund was completed in exceptionally quick time and the stadium opened in August 2007 just one year after the demolition of the old arena. Zurich hosted the UCI Track Cycling World Championships six times at the Early Con Velodrome. The first time was in 1929 and the last time in 1983. Since 2013, the International Open Air Literature Festival Zurich takes place annually in Zurich, presented by Literature House Zurich and Kaluten. Zurich also hosted the 1998 World Ice Hockey Championships. The city previously co hosted the 1953 and 1939 editions. Zurich was also host to the 2012 Men's World Floorball Championships. This was the first time the event had been held in Zurich. Notable people Further reading Architecture Honig, Roderick, Zurich Weirdgebo. Architecture für a Zurich 1990-2010. Hochparter, Zurich 2010, ISBN 978-3-85881-127-1. Oexlin, Werner, Hochscholstadt Zurich. Bauten der ETH 1855-2005. GTA, Zurich 2005, ISBN 3-85676-154-3. Bonte, Alexander, Berkel, J. Christoph, Max Dudler, die neue Dichte, der neue Stadil Europali und die Pädagogische Hochschule Zürich, Jovis, Berlin 2012, ISBN 978-3-86859-1989. Culture Kroger, Ute, Zurich, Du Mein Blauer's Wunder. Literatur Strasuj durch eine Europäische Kulturstadt. Limit, Zurich 2004, ISBN 3 85791 447 5. Stobe, Uelij, Jazzstadt Zurich. Von Louis Armstrong bis Zurich Jazz Orchestra. Neue Zürcher Zeitung, Zürich 2003, ISBN 3-03823-012-X. Um, 
Topic: <laughs> Others. Fopper, Daniel, Berum T und Vergessen tot auf Zurich's Friedhofen. Limit, Zurich 2003, ISBN 3 85791 446 7. Heggie, Christoph U., A., Zurich. Mez, Ostfildern 2006, ISBN 3 8297 0315 5. Equals Marco Polo Reisferrer. Heimgartner, Susanna, Zurich Komplett. Regenborgen, Zurich 2005, ISBN 3 85862 458 6. Equals Regenborgen Reisführer. Smith, Duncan J. D., NUR in Zurich, Ein Reisführer zu Einzigartigen Orten, Geheimen Platzen und Ungewohnlichen Sehenswürdigkeiten Übersetz von Walter Goidinger, Brandstatter, Wien 2012, ISBN 978-3-85033-546-1 See also List of mayors of Zurich P.S. Stadt Zurich Topic. Notes and references Notes <laughs> 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 <laughs>